，广纳贤才，是古今中外的人才战略。在《三国演义》中的刘备，善于结交天下豪杰，先与张飞和关羽桃园结义，后又三顾茅庐请出诸葛亮。刘备恃才过人，将。各有才能的文官武将组织成一支出类拔萃的团队，在赤壁之战，刘备就和孙权联军以少胜多，打败了曹操强大的军队。我要强调强调的是，新加坡是个弹丸小国，人才是我们唯一的宝贵资源。我们需要把握好的时机，良好的时机，招募世界顶级的人才，来到新加坡大展拳脚。Mm-hmm. Singapore cannot be playing a defensive game when it comes to talent. The better we are at attracting and retaining the best talent, local and global, the higher the chances of securing. Our economic future, and to continually be able to generate good jobs for all Singaporeans. Some pass holders may be employees, making it possible to bring a new business unit to Singapore or grow a new line of business. Others may set up companies of their own, generating employment as well as supporting their network of business partners who can also provide good jobs. Yet, others may be here to teach. To advise or consult for local enterprises, sharing their expertise with Singapore Singaporean business owners and professionals, we are building a rich network of markets, people, and ideas that over time will show up in the dynamism of our economy. And if, at the macro level, local job creation remains strong, unemployment low, real income growth sustained. And if amongst our people there's always a sense of hope and, op- and of opportunities, then I think we would have succeeded. In general, the vast majority of employers and businesses are honest. They take our policies, they take MOM seriously, and they know that there are grave consequences if they submit a false declaration. Nevertheless, we will take precautions as we roll out this new pass. That offers more privileges. First level, we will carefully vet all applications. For those seeking to convert from an existing employment pass, we will scrutinise their personal income tax filings with IRAS to ensure that they are consistent with their applications. For overseas candidates, we will further ex- assess their company's market capitalisation and revenue based on verifiable sources. Second level. We will engage the pass holders during their time in Singapore, so that we will be up to date with their professional activities and annual income. This will factor into our assessment on the eligibility for renewals. Some members asked why dependents of the ONE pass holders are able to work on an LOC instead of being assessed based on their own merits. When we are talking about top talent, we must be mindful of how. Global, how mobile they are, and how stiff the competition is for them. Many other jurisdictions, including Hong Kong, the UAE, and the UK, offer work privileges for dependents. When people make major relocation decisions, it is usually a family decision. Without certainty for the spouse, these talents may choose to go elsewhere. We do not have restrictions on the occupations that the LOC holders can work in. This is generally the same approach for all other work pass holders, including dependents working in Singapore. On the LOC given, it is only given to the spouse of that pass holder. It is not given to the dependents. Of the pass holder, because of the highly selective nature of the scheme, we do not envisage that the numbers will be high, the delta will be high. We are not 
setting a quota. And the reason is this. If we accept that there is never enough of top talent to go round the world, then it does not make sense for us to limit the amount of talent we are bringing in. If we impose a quota, we are essentially putting a hard limit on how strongly we can compete at the high end of the global economy. This ultimately hurts Singaporeans, who will then have fewer opportunities. Our intent in growing this segment, first and foremost, is targeted to improve, to increase, to broaden the spillover effects to our SMEs. As I've shared, we want to grow our ecosystem as a whole by creating new cheese, new cheese, significantly new cheese, so that down the, the, the stream, up the stream, our local companies will benefit. This measure will strengthen our standing as an international hub for talent. It will bring significantly more businesses for our local companies, especially our SME, and increase the opportunities for all of our Singaporean workers.